हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज मशीन लर्निंग दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन द सीरीज ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग दिस वीडियो इज़ फॉर एब्सोल्यूट बिगिनर दो सो डजन नो एनी थिंग अबाउट द मशीन लर्निंग सो वील लर्न अबाउट मशीन लर्निंग इन अ वेरी मच इंस्टीट्यूशन वे वील कंपेयर विद एग्जिस्टिंग कंप्यूटर साइंस कंप्यूटिंग सिस्टम एंड वील सी हाउ दैट सिस्टम हैज बीन इवॉल्व टू द मशीन लर्निंग वट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम मशीन लर्निंग सॉल्व इन द करंट वर्ल्ड प्लस वॉट आर द एप्लीकेशन वॉट आर द बिग जाइंट्स कंपनी यूजिंग मशीन लर्निंग फॉर देर एप्लीकेशन सो लेट एस सी फर्स्ट वॉट इज द ट्रेडिशनल वे ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग करंटली सो हाउ द ट्रेडिशनल सिस्टम ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग वर्क सो इन द ट्रेडिशनल सिस्टम ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग यू गिव इनपुट द डेटा एंड यू राइट द कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम सो प्रोग्रामर राइट्स द कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम एंड यू डिफीट द डेटा इन टू द करंट कंप्यूटिंग सिस्टम एंड इट विल गिव द आउटपुट सो हियर इन द एग्जाम्पल केस वी हैव गिवन वेरी सिंपल एडिशन कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम एंड वी हैव सप्लाइड द टू आर्ग्यूमेंट टू एंड थ्री as a input and it has given a output so this way the current uh, uh, system of uh, programming uh, is working so if you observe one thing here a uh, programmer is hard coding what addition uh, is what is the concept of addition they are hard coded uh, feeding into the system they are not explaining they are nor they are teaching to the computer they are just telling computer you just do addition uh, this way so computer doesn't have any brain that what addition is it just uh, computes the way programmer ha has defined all instruction for the computer now let us compare this thing with the machine learning uh, uh, system that how machine learning system solve this uh, problem so if you just swap this computer programming and output part it becomes a machine learning uh, system so instead of giving program by the programmer as a input to the system what we do into machine learning uh, system we give the data and we give the uh, output associated with those uh, data not just the one pair but the huge am amount of pairs of data we give to this uh, system and eventually this machine learning system will learn based on this data itself and it just come up with the this program program is nothing but in it's a kind of model the way data has been distributed how data has been uh, correlated so instead of giving as a output this machine learning system will eventually give us the computer program like a model of that uh, data so this is the difference between current uh, system of computing to the machine learning way of uh, computing so instead of just giving data and a program we are giving huge amount of data and its label means the uh, output associated with that and it come up with the uh, uh, computer program so if you observe one thing here the programmer do not need to write the addition program it just come up with based on the data we provide the huge amount of uh, data to the system and machine learning system has automatically figured out what the correlation between the data what is the concept of uh, addition associated inside the system that's how we learn uh, If we as a human learns uh, the system, and uh, we are uh, trying to teach the computer based on data that what addition is. Uh, so this is a very simple example. Uh, let's look at the uh, another uh, example. Uh, uh, this is a very famous one. Uh, that is a uh, spam email uh, detection. So if you are observed in your uh, Gmail inbox or uh, even in your Yahoo. Uh, inbox uh, there is a lot of emails as spam or not so uh, let us look at the uh, how uh, if if you want to classify this uh, email uh, with the help of current uh, system of computing uh, so if if someone tells us to write uh, 
program to classify the email basically so there is no straight forward uh, way to write the uh, program mm, uh, which tells us that this is a spam or this is not a spam so this is very horrendously complicated for any programmer or anyone to uh, write a single program which just reads the tags of this email and tells that uh, this spam or not spam so this kind of problem cannot be solved by the current system of uh, uh, progr programming so how this problem can be solved with the help of machine learning system let us see so instead of giving uh, just email we are, we are giving to the uh, machine learning system we are giving lot of emails and each email is associated with either spam or not spam or ham either uh, so and machine learning system will automatically figure out that what is the model associated with this uh, uh, with this system so instead of uh, just uh, writing the program for what uh, spam is and what not spam is that is not at all possible and there is no generic rule for it we give huge amount of data to the system and system will automatically figure out what are the rules for uh, whether email is spam or n not so this way machine learning system helps to detect uh, uh, spam in the email or it's a ham in the email okay this is the one example let's see one more example uh, this is the cat detector into image uh, it's a uh, object uh, recognition related uh, uh, problem so mm, let's see if we want uh, to uh, detect whether image contains uh, a cat photo or not so if someone gives us to write the computer program that write a program to classify whether image uh, has a cat uh, or not so there is no straightforward way to uh, write any program uh, that will tell us that whether image has a cat or not because there are no generic rule associated with this uh, uh, image because m the moment you give the next image all pixel intensity and everything has been changed even if you give the same image slightly shifted by just the one pixel horizontally then the whole image pixels also uh, position uh, change so programmer has a no way to uh, uh, give uh, any kind of instruction to the computer that if I give you this kind of data you classify it as a cat or either uh, not cat so let's see how machine learning system uh, will solve this uh, problem so instead of giving uh, uh, just a single cat photo and computer uh, program uh, what we are uh, giving in the machine learning system is we are giving hell lot of photos uh, of either cat or there are not cats so just like this is not a cat photo this is a cat photo this is not cat this is cat this is a parrot photo so this is not a cat and machine learning system will automatically come up with some kind of generic uh, rule that uh, will give us eventually model that will tell that whether uh, the photo is cat or not so this way machine learning uh, system is kind of training and a testing uh, system let's see how this real world machine learning uh, system uh, big giant corporate people uh, are using first is the web search uh, engine so if you look at a uh, google search or bing search uh, what they are uh, doing whatever the 10 top links are uh, coming in front of you while searching any keyword on to ser search engine they are modeling whole those uh, thing with the help of machine learning uh, system uh, there is a recommendation system on amazon on uh, and then product recommendation or even netflix uh, uh, movie recommendation or any kind of uh, tv series recommendation is uh, happen through machine learning system uh, friends uh, whatever uh, these systems are uh, i am telling you this is just for introduction when we go for the subsequent uh, lecture we'll see what are the different machine learning system eventually solve this kind of problem uh, 
uh, that is when Google Photo is there. Google has just launched. So what Google did is uh, each with the help of ML system, Google has tagged each and every photo with some keyword. So whenever you search for uh, something, Google sees what is inside your photo, and that only possible with the help of machine learning system. Uh, if you see the speech recognition, Android uh, speech recognition, or even Apple uh, series uh, speech recognition, that is a uh, uh, nowadays way highly accurate this is uh, all possible with the help of machine learning system and a huge huge amount of uh, data okay so uh, now let's see uh, why machine learning now actually uh, machine learning is already existing from a uh, lot many uh, decades but uh, there is a lot of hype in uh, current time about the machine uh, learning uh, that all possible with uh, due to just these two factors uh, right currently available on the internet one is a lots of lots of amount of data so that was not possible in uh, uh, two three decades uh, earlier and there is one more uh, thing is a high computation power uh, so if you see uh, at least 20 30 years uh, before uh, we didn't have uh, enough computation power uh, to compute on all those uh, data av available so this is the two major factor that why machine learning uh, um, uh, system is uh, growing uh, at a rapid uh, early very fast uh, i want to show you with uh, some uh, quotes from the famous uh, personality so bill gates uh, once uh, said that any breakthrough into machine learning will be of 10 times uh, microsoft so if you can make machine learning to think it will become a uh, 10 times the total valuation of microsoft so you can imagine that uh, how much machine learning is important uh, tony tedder he is the director of the darpa uh, and net he told that uh, machine learning is the next thing in, uh, internet so this is just to inspire you friends what machine learning is what is the good uh, future machine learning can hold and uh, how big uh, corporate uh, uh, giant people are using machine learning for their application uh, Google is not just a search engine company Google become almost a machine learning company so machine learning has a very bright uh, future about it uh, that's all uh, for this machine learning introduction let's summarize what in general this machine learning system is uh, we have seen in a uh, it's a training and testing uh, system we have seen uh, earlier that in a current system we write a program and we feed it the data to that program and we will eventually give output but machine learning is a kind of a two-step process first you need to give the data and a machine will train uh, itself in sort machine will learn uh, from that data uh, and it will eventually come up with a model and there is a testing that is a nothing but a training system and there is one uh, next phase of ML is the testing in sort of inference system when you give a new kind of uh, input it uh, will eventually detect based on that model so it's a combination of training plus testing system uh, it's about automating the automation so if you have uh, might become across a lot of automation uh, related tasks in your uh, daily routine work of uh, computer uh, related uh, programming but uh, this is not just automation it's about uh, your automating your automation tasks itself it's machine learning uh, extracting knowledge uh, uh, from the data there is a huge huge amount of text are uh, available on the internet there are a lot of images are uh, available on the internet but for computer it doesn't make sense so machine learning system is all about extracting that useful knowledge uh, from those uh, data either image speech or text uh, finding the relation between the data so suppose if you give huge huge amount of data computer doesn't make sense of th that data so machine learning will system will find the correlation between those two data that one kind of data is depend on another the data or what are the uh, mathematical uh, relation exists between them so that at a very higher abstract level inference uh, we can uh, find 
so that's all for uh, this machine learning introduction uh, thank you guys for watching in the subsequent uh, lecture we'll come up with uh, more machine learning uh, video for this uh, video lecture series uh, and we'll learn about what are the different types of mm, uh, machine learning uh, system what uh, in a subsequent lecture we'll see what are the different algorithms for it uh, thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe it